Hello. Hello. Hey guys, Rory is here. Welcome to Abe's Odyssey. I've been, sorry, I, I, I should mention first, I'm still a little sick. I, this is the first recording I'm doing since I got sick. We hit a thousand subscribers a while ago, I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> Things have been crazy on the channel, but I've been lighting this game up to play for a while now. It's an old game from my childhood. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Well, the Abe's series, the Abe's games, are some of my favorites of all time. I really wanted to play something I'm familiar with, you know, something from my old days. Uh, if there are any other old games that you want me to play, let me know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna start up Abe's Odyssey. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a good old go. Probably as the main series on the channel. Uh, <laughs> oh god, nostalgia. This is Rupture Farms. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave. Like all the others. I know this cutscene almost off by heart. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to get me copyright claimed. Because last time I did something with the Oddworld intro, it got copyright claimed by a guy who apparently did like a remix of this intro as a song. And I disputed it and thankfully the claim was removed. <laughs> Yeah. That's me. My, My name, name is Abe. Abe. <laughs> I was employee of the year. Damn. Now I'm dead, dead meat. meat. I crossed the meanest boss in the world. <laughs> Mullock the Gluckin. My whole life changed in just one day. I was working late one night at Rupture Farms. These cutscenes, these animations. To me, but to my PS1 playing brain, <laughs> we're freaking mind blowing. We used to make meat munchies <laughs> until the meaches were through. I love this game so much. <laughs> we still made pyramid pies. Mm. And we made some good scrap cakes, too. Yeah, this game is interesting. Like, this is I one of the games... I thought I had a good job. But that was before I knew. How we'd make new and tasty, I was still to find. By the way, I... I debated playing the remake of this on the channel first. I debated, debated playing new and tasty first. The truth, it turned out. Now that would blow my mind. But I decided that I'd rather play this one. You know, taste is good. Were scared, cause profits okay. were grim. But there are many things about it that I don't like compared to the original. The original is just so good in my opinion. <laughs> and scrabs had been turning up thin. I love like everything about this game. But Mullet was cool. <laughs> He had a plan. This new kind of meat? It was us! <laughs> this is one of those games that's like... It was transformative for me. It was like... This is, this is one of the games that I would aspire to make. It's one of the games that made me want to make games myself, you know? I love it. <laughs> I just had to escape. I just had to be free. And I didn't even know I had a destiny. So, get me out of here! <laughs> yeah, the world that they created in this odd world uh, is so fascinating to me. There's so much, like, cool, like, law and lore and uh like <laughs> oh, it's just, oh, I love it I love it so much and it's got tons of like you got the you're the underdog and you rise up and destroy the the uh the power I guess <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh my god uh, let's see if it does it work the same way that I remember it working I downloaded a, a uh, 
a controller pack so I could play it with the controller. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I was I was I downloaded a control pack so I could uh, secret. By the way, <laughs> I know this game like inside and out. It's still so hard to get everyone to, to like do everything in this game, but I will try my best. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. So this game has like checkpoints, but you can't. You, it's it's weird to activate the checkpoints. Whenever you see a little diamond appear on the screen next to Abe, that's a checkpoint. The aim of this game is that you're supposed to go around and save all of your your brothers. Your your Mudokin kind. Um, let's see if I go... Actually, I should get this guy first. I should get this guy who's close to me first. The aim of this is to get them down the hole. Actually, I'll just check. What's down the hole? Okay, I'm gonna sneak. Yeah, so you, you gotta sneak around sleeping enemies. That guy over there on the floor is a, is a slig. Uh, do I wake him up first? <laughs> he fired a lot quicker than I thought he was gonna fire. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those ruthlessly hard uh, games where it's yeah you get sh shot once you die. I'm gonna try my best to get every Mudokin. I might miss a few if I forget where they are. But uh, I think what I might have to do. I have that funny feeling. That's all. Damn it! <laughs> I think what you gotta do is you gotta do this. He'll wake up, and then he'll like walk off the edge, and then you can chant into him. So, this is the premise of the game. You, for whatever reason, you realize you uncover, you discover, that you have uh, the ability to possess, or you have some sort of like latent spiritual ability to possess creatures and things. So now I'm controlling the slick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then when you chant out of them, well, out, most creatures, when you chant out of them, they explode. Uh, does this, I thought, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that opens that. Not that I need it. So what you gotta do is, you see that little, the circle of birds, that's a portal. We'll come back to that in a minute. That was, that was step one. This very first secret is, is like uh -oh. super hard. Uh -oh. uh, Wait one second, I'll, I'll do it over here. Okay. Yeah. So you gotta talk to the Mudokins that are with you. And there we go. Okay. And you gotta get them to follow you around and avoid all the traps. Uh. Oh, he's still following me below. Wait. Okay. Yeah, if I go like that, he should stop. Uh. Running around below. Uh, and I can talk to this guy. You can only talk to one Mudokin at a time in this game, which is way harder than the second game where you can talk to as many as you want. I think I got what I gotta do is I gotta pull this. Oh, stand up, so you'll... Yeah, depending on how you are, if you're crouching, Mudokins will run towards you. If you're standing, they'll walk towards you. If you run, they'll run along with you. There's, there's a lot to do. <laughs> there's a lot to this. For the first screen of the game, this is super, super hard. Uh, but it's intended to be like that for people like me. Uh, what I gotta do is I gotta time this perfectly. Uh, okay. Wait. Oh! Switch this around. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. No, they don't even chase you if you if you're in a ball. It's only if you move fast. Uh, hey, oops. Hey, hey, okay. That's right, you gotta... Okay. Gotta tell him to follow you twice. Wait. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 now I'm gonna do this okay. really quick. You gotta bring this guy down here. Otherwise he won't be able to go through the portal. Okay. Okay. There we are. And now I can chant. And it opens up the portal. And all the Mudokins can leave. They can escape. Yeah. I just did one of the hardest secrets in the game. 
I say that, but there are so many more hard secrets throughout this game. You can, like, go to these little directories and, and look at them. But they just show you stuff like the maps of the areas, uh, where employees are posted. It doesn't show the secret employees, though. So you gotta be careful. So there's like one in those each of those boxes that has a little dot. Um, and some of them have two. But that that is a hint to some of the stuff that's coming up. But for the most part, it doesn't show like the secret stuff. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, slugs are your like main enemy in this game. They're the guards that patrol the Glucken uh buildings and places and this game is 2.5d so it has like areas that you run around in the background in and areas in the foreground see so yeah, that little dime that sh showed up that's a that's a checkpoint i'm gonna keep an eye on eye out on where those are uh because they're it's good to remember that for f finessing the uh checkpoint system so there's another one there those two are really close together so you can jump back and forth between them because you, you can't reactivate a checkpoint you've, you have, but you can go back and activate an old one. I can activate the checkpoint that's in here, and then reactivate this one again, so that it will update to where you're up to, yeah. It's, it's complicated. The second game uh, just gave you a quick save system, so that was much better. Uh, but yeah, I can, once again, enchant into this guy. There's a blue docking down there that I need to save. Uh, one second, I forget what's through here. Okay. <laughs> There's lots of things like this lever here, which are like, oh, I press this button thing. Don't press it. <laughs> Do I press it just to show you? It, it, you'll see what it activates later. <laughs> well, what I'm gonna do is there's that electrical system that you can turn off with that little lever there. You can do a lot with the slugs and stuff that you can possess. Yeah. There's a sleeping slug here. <laughs> Wait, there we are. <laughs> uh, I think there's nothing down the bottom there, so let's just get rid of this guy. So yeah, you gotta chant into slugs to kill other slugs, because uh, as Abe, you're, you're pretty well defenseless. Uh, Hello. Hello, follow me. Okay. Yeah, bring this guy along. Uh, we'll bring him over to here. Wait, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that you can't... You can't make them work in this game. In the second game, you have a have a button that you can make them go down onto the floor and start working, and that like disengages them from your Hello. Uh, Hello. your talking. Me. Okay. If if there's a Mudokin standing, he'll be the one who reacts to the things you Wait. say. Okay. So like if I go like this and say, Hello. Hello. it's gonna be that one who who says hello. It's not gonna be the one on the floor. But yeah, if you pull this lever. <laughs> it, it opens a little trap door and kills the Mudokin if he's still standing there. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to bring these guys over here. Hello. Hello, follow me. Okay. Because you have to bring them over one at a time. Over to this little, like, a uh, pulley Wait. system okay. thingy. We'll bring them there and we'll deal with them in just a bit. There's something so... For me, because I, it's a game that I played a lot when I was younger. Wait, okay. There's a lot of like charm in this game. I just love it. <laughs> I love it with all of my heart. I love the style. It got me into like the diesel punk style. Uh, one second, I'm gonna go back and activate this checkpoint. There we are. See? Oh god, the little diamond just popped up a moment ago. So now it's it's saved my current position. And if I go here again, it'll save it again. There we are. So now I can do all the secrets. Is this one of the secrets? Uh, no, it is not. <laughs> it is death. <laughs> uh, oh, it doesn't save the... It doesn't save the Mudokin positions. Okay, Hello. that's good to know. Okay. Yeah, so these guys have reset. But do, wait, does that mean that this guy's... No. It's weird, I heard sleeping slug noises, but I think that's wait. one of okay. the secrets. Okay, I shouldn't bother getting these guys just yet. So that that trapdoor wasn't a secret, but I believe this one is. Yeah. And this actually opens up another secret in another area. One second, I'm just gonna explore this one really quick. Uh. Actually, yeah, let's just get this first. Get the little 
Bomb. It's a bomb. This is like a bomb spawner. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's spawn the bomb. Pick it up. And then try and try our best to Oh god. Let's <laughs> grab another one. No wait. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I forget what angle I have to throw this on. No, that's not what I meant to do. From one of these positions, when you throw it, uh, it uh, will hit the slig. Sorry, I should explain. Uh, the reason I'm not chanting into him is if I do, if I try. Oh god! It, oh, that was so close. Yeah, the slig freaks out, but that little like laser thingy. Uh, basically says nope. There we go. There we are. <laughs> um, yeah. So we killed the sleep. And now we can do this as well. And kill it myself. <laughs> I was holding the bomb to try and hit the. <laughs> I'm gonna save these Mudokins first. Hello. So yeah, if we bring these guys over to here, like I did last time, and we go down this little pulley system, we can save them. <laughs> I should have just done that straight away last time. Yeah, because once you save them, they're gone, and uh, I don't need to... I can go and finesse the, sick, the checkpoints again, and then do the really hard secret stuff. <laughs> so yeah, this game has 100 Mudokins in it, including me. It has 99 plus me. Uh, so uh, that's that's the, the goal of this, is to save all 99 other Mudokins. Yeah, and actually there's so much to this game with like sound cues and stuff. This game is one of those excellent examples of game design. I feel like, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like this is also a secret. <laughs> oh, so many secrets. Uh, ooh. Yeah, it's one, of, it's one of the ones that's probably a little bit easier to do. Because you can just... Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. Well, I'm fucked. Pardon my language. Pretty sure I needed that guy. Yep. <laughs> okay, calm down, both of you. <laughs> yeah, so, what I meant to do is that. So now, I can chant into them. Because <laughs> the lower area, yeah. And as soon as you chant into someone, that's the like nearby slave will always be like, kill him quick! <laughs> Which is something you have to think about because, uh,. Sometimes there are Mudokins that are amongst slicks. <laughs> yeah, so all I need to do is chant down to that guy. Uh, and with with another bomb... Yeah, when there's a slick down there, you can't, like, chant and throw bombs and stuff like that. It's just too much. It's just too hard. So, you, yeah, you destroy this guy. Go back up for a second. Back down to respawn the, the birds. And uh, save these guys. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I totally forgot. The other reason for going down there is to get these bombs, because there's another secret I haven't been to yet. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to that other one that I failed before, but there's another secret you can use, you can get to with this bomb. And I'll do it because you can get a checkpoint near it as well. I need to go back to the checkpoints. So yeah, if I get this checkpoint here, uh, I can start from here, and I have to... There we are. Destroy the mines below there. So you can like walk down here and go behind... Wait, is it this one? Behind this barrel! <laughs> yeah, all the freaking hidden secrets behind barrels and shit. <laughs> uh, this is hard, if I recall correctly. Ugh, oh, two drills. Wait, does this one... This one doesn't slow down the one above, does it? What does this do? It might switch them over. So this might make the one that above a little easier. Yeah, it does. Okay, wonderful. Hello. Hello. Uh. Follow me. Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Whee. There we are. And then I'll step back a couple because otherwise I'll accidentally <laughs> go into the drill Hello. myself. Hello. Wait. Okay. Okay, I'm still talking to the guy who fell through. See, that's the thing. I've got to wait for him to... Hello. Hello. There we are. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Let's make him follow me. Okay. Go follow right me. into okay. where I am. There. Wait. Okay. 
Okay, and then let's go like this. Go. Follow me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that is Follow not me. good. Okay. He'll fall down, and then uh, we can bring him down here. Follow me. Okay. They'll never follow you off ledges by Wait. default. Okay. So let's just go up and back down. So hopefully he'll be sitting. There we are. And then Hello. we'll talk to this guy. Hello. Facing okay. the direction of the person who you're talking to is like uh, is basically how okay. you differentiate between the Mudokans. Wait. Okay. You face a Mudokan you want to talk to, and then uh, then say your words. Usually it's you're saying it's, it's usually the hello part. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Okay. Come up Follow here. Me. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. okay. Wait. Okay. There we go. Perfect. See if I even if I say hello here though. Hello. Hello. Wait. <laughs> if you're like hello and then they're like hello and you're like wait. <laughs> they're like yeah. <laughs> hello. Hello. Okay. Wait. Let's get right up here. Follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Wait. Okay. Follow me. Okay. There we are. There we okay. go. Now I just have to not die. <laughs> go up here, back down here, and then chant. And they'll be like, whoa, portal. <laughs> yeah. So, this very first area of the game, which is... Oh, how the hell do I get back up? Do I have to run jump? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this very first area of the game is... There are 28 Mudokans, but if you just run through here without finding any of the secrets, you'll maybe have like eight. <laughs> or like maybe 12 or something like that. So we've got nine so far. I just got a checkpoint, so let's try and do this one now. This one is tough. This one is the hardest, I think, of these initial ones. Ah. Yeah, and if you don't want to fall over, uh, if you just crouch, you'll not fall over. I think you can get round this guy without having to blow him up. Let's see if I go like this. There we go. Cool. I don't believe you can get him at all. Like, you just can't get that guy. Uh, let's fall. Actually, no, I'm gonna jump across like that. And throw it like, oh, mm, I don't want to kill this Mudokin by accident. Yeah, there we are. Cool. And now that the bomb is gone, <laughs> let's just go up here, back down here. Save this guy. So yeah, it's actually, the, the very first one is probably the hardest. I, I think I was mistaken about thinking this is the hardest one. This is actually not that hard at all. As long as you get that, as long as you can get the arc of that bomb right. Yeah. And then this is a little thing that doesn't really show up much later on. I mean, it shows up a few times in this game, but doesn't really show up in Abe's Exodus that much. But I can chant this portal and it stays open. And I can hop through it. <laughs> it brings me back out. So, we have ten. I think... I think that's all of the Mudokans from this area. And the problem is, once you go through a certain... Once you go through certain doors in this game, you're locked out of previous areas. So if I go through here, it'll probably lock the door behind me. No, it didn't. Oh, it didn't actually lock it. But it gave me a checkpoint, which is wonderful. Yeah, this is like, kind of like the first Mudokin that you have to save. Hello. Hello, follow me. Okay. I believe it's the first one that actually is required to be saved. Uh, let's just bring him here and say wait. wait. Okay. Hello. Hello, follow me. Okay. Okay, come with me. And then I'm just gonna chant. Even though he hasn't reached the room yet. There we go. Because I think well, actually no, you're not, you're not required to save these guys either. Actually no, you're never you're never required to save any Mudokins in this game. Uh, that's a fact. Uh, but yeah, now I was talking about sound cues. When you're in this room, if you listen, that's weird. It's not doing it anymore. Let's go out of here. This room is silent. You see, this room's silent, and so is this room. No ambient. But then you walk into this room and you can hear distant slig noises. You can tell they're not in the room you're in, but they're nearby. You walk into the next room, and there's an active slig. But, there's an active slig and a distant slig. You can hear a distant slig noise in the background. Uh, 
It's because I mean, do I still have? Oh, I didn't bring a I didn't bring a bomb with me. I suck. Do I go back and get a bomb? I might just do that. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, I might fail this. <laughs> Perfect! Wait, wait, wait. Can I... Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that! Shit! Okay, wait, there's a checkpoint here, isn't there? There is, okay. Let's, uh... Wait, no, let's not get that checkpoint. Let's go back and get this checkpoint. Because you can trap yourself. <laughs> when I say trap yourself, I mean... There we are. Uh, you can... Get, put yourself into a position where you can't save Wollumi Dawkins. I definitely did that one of the last times I played this game. Uh, I think I managed to finesse my way out of the problem, but I didn't kill that slig. Because this is not a... This is not a death trap. It is instead... Oh, what actually happened to the other slig? Yeah. Basically, uh, there are areas that are pitch black. Oh. <laughs> that was not one of them. So yeah, I spawned here, which is a, a valuable thing to note. Because if I spawned in the next one... Oh, he's actually not here. I must have killed him. Because I was going to say, uh, depending on how the slig falls... Yeah, actually, he probably was He was coming back towards me, wasn't he? And when he fell. So he fell down two floors and, and probably fell to his death. If he had fallen to the right instead of the left, uh, he would have landed in the top platform and still been alive. And then if you get the checkpoint through here, you when you come back into the room, he's down here again. He's on the floor here again. And you can't get back to the switch to pull it to go to the the secret. <laughs> yeah, he's up here on this platform here. Um, so what I believe I have to do, I think I have to be outside of the, the dark here. And then, nope, never mind. I have to be inside the dark, I think. Inside the dark, one. Like that. And then land down in the dark below here. I don't want that Mudokin to die. I can't chant into this leg because of the, the robot above me. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. What I gotta do... Get this bomb. That slig is like listening to me. He can hear me over here. I'm going to see if I can... Yeah, do that so that I don't accidentally... As if you hang, then the slig will like turn to see you. He'll see you hanging there. But if you escape before he shoots, then he'll kill one of the Mudokins. So, <laughs> you've got to be really careful. I might fail this. Oh, I did it way too over. Yeah. For whatever reason, this slick just doesn't, he doesn't, um, say anything. But he's there. He sees me. Why do I get the feeling I have to do this? Throw it far. Because you can, depending on which button you press, if, if you hold circle, you start, like, readying the bomb, which cooks the bomb. Or holds a rock, if you're just holding a rock. Um, let's get rid of this guy before he freaking kills those Mudokins. I feel like this, this lever... Activate something I don't want it to activate. So let's just go and blow ourselves up on this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> not into the drill, please. Hop up here, back down here. Oh. I probably should get rid of the guy above me first. So I can get all the Mudokins at once. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Circle Cooks the Bomb, and then if you press. Depending on which, which button you press, which, whether you press up, down, left, or right, and depending on whether you're crouched, standing, whatever, uh, depends on what the angle of the bomb throw is. If you press away from yourself, away from, like, if you press the direction you're facing, like if I'm facing left and I press left, it'll throw far left. If you're pressing... Okay, this is going to be a little bit tough. Uh... Let's try and time this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> I love the... Okay, let's just get him drilled. Oh, there we are. <laughs> oh, this guy actually has his own portal. I didn't realize. Oh, no, that's my portal. <laughs> Once again, I can't actually normally escape this place. So let's just... Uh... Yeah, get him down there. Get him right across. Wait. Okay. I now have to get this guy past the drill. Actually, I'll do what I usually do. Okay. There we go. And then get all these guys safe. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this lever makes the dogs come out of that sickum box on the bottom left. I don't want to do that. Oh, I should get a bomb for. I should get a bomb for the road. <laughs> Just in case. And then run through my own portal. Yeah. Yeah, and you can tell there's a, sl a uh, Mudokin in the room if you listen for the uh, the brushing noises. Or if you can hear, like, little brushing noises. You might not be able to see the Mudokin, but you can uh, tell he's in the room from the brushing noises that they make. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that that's a bomb that's a... T uh... <laughs> I just keep doing stuff and then being like, oh, that might be confusing. Uh... That's one of those, like, timed bombs. You can deactivate and activate by t by touching the top of it. You can only deactivate it when it's green. Uh, but you can, like, reactivate them, which I think is really funny. Uh, yeah, this bit's, this bit's a little tough. I think... There we go, there we go. Okay, that means, that noise means that that was a death pit. That, like, the fact that he didn't, he didn't just fall through and no noise was made. The fact that he went, help, 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 means it was a death pit. I got rid of that guy because, uh, if I chanted into one of these guys, they would probably shoot the Mudokin by accident. Yeah, let's just run into that. <laughs> cool. And then, uh, deactivate the laser. For some reason it plays on the right side of my ear. When that happens, but it's actually on the left. I don't know why that is. I don't remember if there's a reason for that. Yeah, we'll save that Mudokin. Is that the only Mudokin here? I think so, yeah, yeah. You can reactivate that bomb and kill one of the slugs with it, but it's unnecessary. Yeah, and a quick save it there. Uh, this slug in the background is very annoying, but... It doesn't matter that he's in the distance. I can still chant into him. <laughs> And when you're in the distance, when you're a slig in the background, slig I didn't give them a chance to actually sh show it off, but they can shoot in the they can shoot you in the foreground. Foreground slugs can't shoot backwards, but background slugs can shoot forwards. That's weird. I can't do it. Oh yeah, when you say look out, Mudokins will duck their heads. So when you're a slig, you can say look out to all the Mudokins in the room. They'll all duck their heads, and then you can shoot over the top of their heads. <laughs> it's, oh, it's so cool. This game is so good. There's so many things that this game has for such a for such an old little like PS1 game. Okay. So many things to it. So many cool things to it. Wait. Yeah. So for some reason, I wasn't able to shoot forwards. I don't know if that's because it's Abe's Odyssey, and you can only do that in Abe's Exodus. But the slugs can definitely do it to you. They can shoot you in the foreground. Does that turn it off permanently? It does. Okay. So I can save these guys now, or I can build up all the Mudokins in the area and save them all at once. I should save them now. <laughs> because once you save them, they're, that's it, they're, they're saved. If you have to load a checkpoint. You can drill this slate, but it's... It encourages you to, it encourages you to drill the slate. But you actually want to, like, steal the slate. Because there's a lot of things, like, whoops. Okay, it's... It's L2 and circle. Look out. There's actually a... There's a... Mo Hear that, like... There's a, there's a Mudokin in this room. <laughs> Look out. Help. There we go. See? I just shot him. And there's a slug in this... There's a Mudokin in this room as well. Uh, in the in the darkness. So you gotta... That's what you gotta do. Look out. <laughs> Uh, does that switch them around? Yeah, yeah, it switches them around. Switches which one's the fast one, which one's the slow one. 
don't want to pull that lever for the same reason you don't want to pull previous levers before you deal with her. <laughs> That's it. That's all you need the slate for. Um, but yeah, a lot of Mudokans along this path. Uh, a lot of people. A lot of. A lot of Mudokans to die along this path. You can, you know, a lot of Mudokans to miss or or kill by accident. Hello, hello, follow me. Okay. See, <laughs> it emerges from the darkness. Okay, I'm just gonna gather up okay. the ones in the like dark areas and stuff. I think up to the like, was, it, was there a door? Hello. Oh, there's no, there's, there isn't one in here. Hello. No, oh, I thought there was. I think up to this door, there's a. I feel like there's a um bird portal on the other side, so we'll save that one guy. I thought there was another one. I really thought there was. Save this guy real quick. Oh yeah, and if you if you're running and you hold X, you'll switch to being in ball form. <laughs> one second, I'm just gonna check. Is there a was there a um there is a bird portal over here. Okay, cool. So let's bring this guy. Okay. Wait. Wait. <laughs> yeah, so the reason I didn't- Hello. 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 Here he is. Okay. It was in that shadow. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Yeah, the reason I didn't want to pull this lever before is that. Now that I've gotten Hello. that out of the way. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Okay. Bring him over this way. Wait. Okay. <laughs> We're really gathering her up on gathering them up on this side. Hello. Okay. Run this way. Yeah, those ones are actually pretty easy to get them past because they Hello. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Yay! One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Six Mudokins all at once. Yeah. We've got twenty five out of twenty eight of the uh Mudokins in this area. Oh, I should point out that this area down here, we actually can't go to this Zulag one yet. I don't know if I can be bothered. I'm not going to show you it because we'll see it later in the game. <laughs> yeah, basically, this er this whole area is like it's the start of the game, but it's also the end of the game. So you come back here and you oh no, I'll just check. I just got a quick save. <laughs> I just got an auto save. I'll just check that there isn't a Mudokin through that door. I could totally see there being one through the door, just like a singular Mudokin. And then hiding him there so as to trick people into forgetting <laughs> to go through here. There isn't one here, but let's go through here again. Yeah. So there's this whole like area in through this through this like cutscene. This is like an elevator. <laughs> an elevator. It's like a train slash elevator system. I think train is probably more accurate. <laughs> Because we're in Zulag 1, and this is the, the path of Zulag 2, I think? Okay, yeah, it's not okay, there's no Mudok in here. There's just a, a blank door there, and you have to go back and go through another cutscene. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure that I have all the Mudokins that I- Oh, oh, this is a- we come back this way. This is where we enter the Rapture Farms again. So this is like a- a weird, like, open path to the outside. And there's like cave drawings of Mudokins running to freedom. <laughs> yeah. I'll just make sure- okay, we still have all 25. No! <laughs> that was a terrible performance. But yeah, okay, we still have 25 of the Mudokins. I know where- at least one or two of them are. If I walk, he'll he'll go what first? Oh, I can't actually do anything because that that uh, laser thing is up the top. Okay, we got another checkpoint. Oh, I hope that I hope that sling didn't just. Oh, I already have one. Oh god. I think that noise I'm hearing is to say there's a sling on the floor here. Ah, oh, damn it! I need, I need to get him. I need to uh, grab him. I wonder if he's gonna start up high. If I, okay, he does. Wonderful. Because I died and respawned, he started up high. So what I can do is again. 
Perfect. <laughs> yeah, those little laser thingies. They're really annoying. <laughs> I love being able to chant into stuff and not being able to chant into stuff. Like, those <laughs> things make it unable to be done. Uh, so infuriating. So yeah, there's a slug here. Normally he wouldn't be a big deal. He just like, just when you land down on the other side, he's like, wakes up and says, freeze. Uh, and you can just quickly roll off the left hand side, you know, no big deal. But, as you've seen now, actually I don't need to have this slug, do I? <laughs> yeah, basically you can land on this platform here. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's where the last three are. I'm pretty sure all three of them are there. Come on. <laughs> this lever is just like a elevator call button. Okay, I don't have a bomb now, but I can get one here. Yeah, it's, this is where it teaches you how to use bombs. What I should say, what should be mentioned, is the fact that you're not really supposed to know anything of what I've been doing so far. Yet. Okay, that clears those bombs out of the way. I probably should go and get a checkpoint now that I've done all those things. I've gotten rid of the slig, gotten rid of the bombs. Okay, there's one there, one, wonderful. I can finesse these checkpoints. <laughs> yeah, so you're not really supposed to know or be able to save. You're not really supposed to be able to save all 28 of the initial Mudokins. Yeah, <laughs> of course it's a secret. Oh. Yeah, if you have quick save, which is what you have in Abe's Exodus, you can just you can just quick save right in the room. Like you can quick save right here. Oh, my timing is so bad on that. Oh, <laughs> that's just the first hurdle. Actually, I think you might have to just do this. Yeah, my bad. Okay, now I have to wait for the timing to be good for these two drills. There we go. There we are. Cool. That's just it. <laughs> Done. Yay. <laughs> go free, my brethren. Yeah, so you can hop down here. Yeah. So yeah, it says like, tw escapees 28, casualties 0, employees 71. Yeah, this game's sound design is excellent. I don't know what it is about the stereo being, like, I can hear stuff on the left that should be on the right, and I can hear stuff on the right that should be on the left. I don't know exactly what that's, what the deal is there. Clearly some, like, audio stuff is the wrong way around. Uh, but, yeah. Basically, you get to here and it says, you escape and all 28 workers on this level die. They're, like, threatening you by saying, like, if you leave, we're gonna kill everyone. Except that we've saved all 28. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. That's mainly an excuse so that when you come back later, they count as new Mudokins. <laughs> yeah. You land in some meat, in a barrel of meat. And you sort of like, barrel your way out. Pardon the pun. <laughs> literally, you literally... Yeah, okay. <laughs> the barrel doesn't go, but you, you out of the barrel goes. Yeah, and this is the first area of the next section of the game. Is there a checkpoint? Uh, I'm not sure if there's a checkpoint, but whatever the case, I'm going to pick this up right here anyway. So, uh, we're going to call this episode one. Uh, I can also save it. So yeah, that was the whole first section of the game. I'm going to try and speed through this as much as I can, because I know not everyone wants to see these older games. A lot of people want to see the more modern, like, newer games. I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this, but I'm also going to try and do it at a quick pace, because that's the thing, I've played these games so many times that I know them in and out, so it should be relatively fast for me to finish it. For me to get all the Mudokins should be faster than the average person, just because I have some amount of muscle memory <laughs> to do with these levels. I definitely remember Exodus a lot better than Odyssey, but yeah, I think I'm still pretty good at Odyssey. <laughs> so until next time, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Just one last thing, I just wanted to reiterate how grateful I am, how thankful I am that all these new people have come around to the channel, and to how thankful I am for my... my... OG supporters who are, have come to the like comment section and like backed me up and helped advertise the channel and talk about the channel a little bit. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and as always, 